our day at 7. Um, we open up the office and... And then once we get started, we check our voicemails. Um, this is my first time at going surfing, so I'm looking forward to it. We're just going to surf class. It'll probably take us like 25 minutes, depending on when we leave. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Morning Joy to me is all about making the students excited about their class. Especially right now when they're like in their final week of class, it's really important. Good morning! Good morning! To like make sure that they're like super excited about class and like they want to go, they're energized. Good morning. People should do this for college students because it is hard to get to class when you get older. Good morning! Good morning. Alright, there will be um, possible, they're figuring it out now, um, slight schedule. Um, one or two people need to switch so we know be flexible. Uh, the Grove 630, Wall at 645, and Zumba at 8 p.m. That should be good. They're excited about it. That should be good. Oh, I have one thing to say. You guys are awesome. We're, we're now on home stretch. Um, it's really important that we stay laser focused. Um, in the Anderson class we run from 9 to 1130 and then again from 1 to 245 each afternoon as well. I'm there as an RC to assist the kids with the schoolwork, kind of be their point person between Summer Discovery and the Anderson School of Business, help them with any projects or any questions they might have. Uh, we take our students to various locations throughout Los Angeles, such as the LA Regional Food Bank, the Midnight Mission, and UCP, Baby to Baby, just to name a few. I think it's important for the students to come into the summer, summer Discovery, not just to have a great time, but to also give back to the community. This is sign-up's duty. Uh, it runs into our shifts in between classes, after class, when, at night when they check in. Students will come up, give me their IDs, and I will sign them up for the activities they want. On floor duty, we kind of just walk around the halls and check that the kids are in the rooms, and if they're in someone else's room, their doors are open, the lights are on, they have to have the doors fully open. So we just kind of walk around the halls and <coughs> check on the kids and make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Doctor duty is a 24-hour responsibility. It's really important for the RC to remain calm, positive, and friendly, especially around the students, in case this is their first time going to the emergency room. And it's important to ensure that all the paperwork is filled out. Afternoon delight is when the office staff come outside to sit and see the students as they come back up the hill from their classes, get them excited about afternoon activities, and welcome them back. An office shift usually lasts between two and four hours. You're the first line of communication for students, for parents. A big portion of it is checking out students and checking them back in. We also answer the phones, which is a big part. They also come to us for key checkouts. So if they lose their car, they lose their ID, they come to the front desk and we point them in the right direction. Westwood duty consists of four different duties. We have Westwood shuttle that monitors the shuttle, makes sure students are having their IDs out and getting on and off in an orderly fashion. We have Starbucks duty, which serves as our flashpoint duty in case any emergencies happen. Um, we also have walking duty where an RC walks around, just making sure kids are where they're supposed to be, no one's having any issues or any problems. And we also have Target uh, monitoring their in and outs and the activities that they're doing inside of the Target, which is one of the main places that they do visit. Every trip has a bus captain who is responsible for taking attendance, reading bus announcements, coordinating with the driver, and making sure all students return back to campus safely. Every night at 10 p.m., the students check in in the lobby to make sure that they are safe and sound. They must have their summer discovery IDs or we turn them away. Check-in closes at 11 p.m. sharp. Yeah, so this is mail room. Uh, the kids come in, they check in, they're notified they have mail. They're allowed to pick up their mail from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. Early on the day, I come in here and I actually put together the mail log and the kids will then be able to come get their mail from me. It was my day off, so I went to the beach and I went surfing. I had dinner at this great restaurant off campus. It was wonderful. Every night around 11 o'clock, we hang up the new dailies. Every night at 12, 12.30 on the weekends, we check in the students into the rooms and say goodnight. We stay up from 11 p.m. until 3 in the morning just to make sure no funny business goes on. No kids try and leave, and we patrol the halls to make sure everyone's staying safe at night. Go to bed. Let's break the bed. We make rounds every 20 minutes throughout the building, and one of us stays here to man the door. The Summer Discovery office closes at about 2 a.m., so that makes the late night the last staff up every night. <laughs>